help me with something. I've I've put together the Ethno Snacker website because yeah. it's, it's it's a great little good. resource as well. I, I found it very stimulating looking through it. Good. I agreed and I didn't have to disagree with certain <laughs> things you were saying. Well, that's what it's there for. Yeah. To stimulate debate. But yeah. one of the problems I have personally as a researcher and as a I'm not really a researcher, I'm not don't have a research background, I have an engineering background. Yeah. yeah. But as, as we're, a, research, we're all researchers, <laughs> we're all learning like crazy non-stop. <laughs> is that we, there are an awful lot of people in our business saying... The they, business being applied anthropology or filmmaking? No, no, consumer research. Consumer research. These are people who do groups, depths, interviews, a qualitative research, not even quantitative, not numbers based, but qualitative research who talk about doing ethnographic research when in fact all they're really doing is... Ethnographic or anthropological? Well, we, I call it ethnographic research. And in fact, our industry calls it ethnographic research. Do they? Ethnographic research is the uh, default expression used oh, to express uh, yeah. video-based research. It's marvellous how we all have different categories. Yeah, yeah. Box things up differently. It, it's, uh, it was kind of coined by a bunch of people, but ethnographic research is, is the absolute uh, standard expression used. Okay. Now, what it turns out to be often is qualitative research, in other words, interviews done with a video camera. And that's not filmmaking, that is no. it's filmmaking, but it's me it's doing what I've always done, data. but just filming it. It's documenting. Yes, yes, it's documenting, but it's my, my problem with it was that it was devaluing what we were doing as sort of filmmaking ethnographic researchers who make films of people's everyday lives, yes. add meaning to them, yes. versus those who would do, at the worst end of the spectrum, interviews and film them and call it ethnography. It's not. It's, it's research interviews with a video camera. Yeah. At, uh, there are there are variations. You know, people will go and they'll I mean, film plenty of my students covers. just go off and interview people. That's all their film is: people talking. Particularly yes. those interested in oral tradition. Yes. But that's why the site was set up to try and create debate around who is doing what, what are we really doing, yeah. and uh, what is your thought on that? I mean, what do you think about whether or not? I mean, I, I loved your Vive la Difference point about uh, you know, let them stay blurred, let the boundaries stay blurred. Well, they but always the, will stay blurred. Well, the problem it causes for and us... I don't like dogma. No, no, I'd be absolutely right. And I think dogma is a very bad thing, especially in our industry. It's one of the big barriers I've had to sort of push against uh, all my working life in, in, in this field. But what it does is... It confuses clients to the point where they don't know when they're asking for ethnography what they're getting at the end of it. I bet. Okay, so if somebody does ethnographic research, what does that mean? And there is no standard, there is no convention for what research-based filming should involve if you call it ethnographic research. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not... Ethnographic research? is classically writing down the differences and recording the values and aspects of ethnic groups. You are looking at human behaviour, which is anthropos, not ethnos. So fundamentally, I'm in a confusion whenever you use this word. You're looking at human social behaviour in some sense. You're not looking at ethnic human behaviour. So. Whenever you use this word, I'm having actually to, to do a fantastic act of interpreting a whole bunch of new brain cells are having to link up inside my head this to understand what you're talking. If you use the word anthropology, I could answer that question. If you use the word ethnographic, I have to really rejig my categories in my brain, and that ain't easy. That's uh, very interesting, because that just shows you the kind of varying backgrounds mm. we all come from in research, Yes, which caused us got us to kind of find this You're not expression. into ethnology. No. At uh, all. No. But you call it that. Fascinating. Go on, call it that. That's the word you got used to. Well, the whole, but then the whole I'm having to reconceptualise to answer your question. 
the, the whole industry globally refers yeah. to it as ethnographic. Absolutely. 